IL-2 1946, let's play the Jet Age. All right, before we start, uh, we have to set up the game for the Jet Age and in your main game directory uh, for IL-2 1946, scroll down to the selector icon. And there it is. It looks like your exec, but it says selector and it's in your game directory, wherever it is. Double click it and it'll open a, a box that says, uh, the game type and you're going to click that box and change it to the jet age make sure you have all the memory clicked in save settings and start the game and when you start the game you'll get a different splash screen and you'll know you're in the jet age just by looking at it and if you like it uh your mods are going to be in a different folder uh, not your World at War 3 folder. And the targets uh, for our mission for today, uh, an SA-2 site. Uh, it's going to be uh, mid-70s. And it's during the Angolan Civil War. And we're going to fly for Portugal. And we're going to fly the G-91. It's a real cool jet. I always liked it as a kid. I thought it was a f86 model but it's not it's uh italian made fiat like the car anyway guys you get the same uh feel of power uh, like you're starting up a 262 and you can make out your control surfaces moving can see their weapons on the pylons and when we get spooled up we're just going to take off because we're Sunday drivers and the game plays exactly the same use the tab key get permission uh, radio commands uh, take off from the tower permission You have a lead computating gun sight. And you feel that uh, sense of speed building up. Really good sound effects. And when you're up above 200 kilometers per hour, gently pull back on the stick. Gear up and we're airborne. All right, we're on station, and we've got to worry about the capability of the SA-2, as our aircraft has no countermeasures whatsoever. So we want to do some terrain masking, and it's going to work out pretty good for us. But we don't want our wingmen to get uh, taken out at altitude so we're going to have them give them commands to close up as we drop down and as we start to terrain mask we're going to start to pick up inbound SA2 wow so the radar lost track, a second one goes by. So we drop down uh, below the radar uh, search capability and we avoided both of those missiles. So that was pretty cool. Now we're gonna We're gonna do a pop-up attack. Uh, the radar operators are just won't have the time to lock on us. So everything is much faster. Um, you have to pick up targets faster, uh, give wingmen commands faster, because you're coming in probably at least uh, 
600 miles an hour. And you feel the need for speed. All right, we're going to distribute some targets. And we're going to get lined up for a level bomb attack. We're in the target area. There's our smoke markers. Bombs out. Four out. And you really feel the rumble from the blast effects. All right, just as in the regular game, um, World War II, we can give uh, wingman commands, designate ground targets with the F5 key, hit the tab key, and we can press one for our direct wingman and then five to attack my target. Or one, three for our flight, uh, to attack the target as well. So we've done both. We've got our wingman flying in low over the target and he nailed it. All right, we're gonna pick up some enemy MiGs. And I really like uh, the reaction of the uh, enemy AI. A flight of two came at us. They saw that they were outnumbered. They spooled up their engines and just outpowered us, outclimbed us, and headed away. So we're going to take it back to the house. Landings are more of a challenge. So you really got to figure out that speed uh, as being much faster. And I'm coming in kind of a flat approach because I haven't figured out the correct landing speed as of yet. So I'm going to use all of the runway. I'm using the air brake. Getting that nose up and touchdown. Really good stable landing. And a drogue shoot that I didn't use. Well, guys, I hope you like this uh, Jet Age video. Give it a try if you like it. I don't recommend it anything past the analog era, um, Korean Air, Air War, and uh, up to Vietnam. And that's about it. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the channel. Take care. We'll see you up again soon.